And well, we're set up for 24 inch today. Battery's all fitted. Well, you must be thinking there's something missing. Surely this isn't a complete system for surveying 24 inch. Yes, it is, and down to four inch as well with the same crawler. Now, what's missing? Well, nothing on the crawler. It's got pan and tilt head, digitally controlled, high definition sensor. It's got four wheel drive, it's steerable. The speed is completely variable. It's got a reversing camera. It's got reversing lights. It's got a sond. It's machined out of solid brass and solid stainless steel. So there's certainly nothing missing on the crawler front. What about the auto drum? Well, it doesn't look like an auto drum for a start. It just looks like a manual one. Well, it is an automatic drum. And it's, so it has a motor and a cycloid gearbox. And that's the joy of this system. There's no complicated control. So we can just switch the system on at the hub. That's the only button you have to press. The auto drummer will start to tension the cable ready for use. Crawl will start up on its own, even though it's battery powered and there's no power coming up this cable at all. In fact, this cable is only used for signals. There's no voltages on that at all. Okay, so the crawl is ready to go. We can start a recording and then we can just start the survey. It's as simple as that. Just press forward and the auto drum will release cable for the crawler and the crawler will go off and do its survey at up to half a metre a second. So let's go to that speed. And then when you want to come back again, you hit reverse, then the reversing lights come on, the reversing camera comes on, and the auto drum will start pulling the crawler back in again. And we control the speed of that away from just a few fractions of a meter per second, up to half a meter a second. Okay, so for a situation like we want to put it into a culvert, well, it's no problem at all. We can just push the crawler around and the auto drum will let cable out. You can pull cable off of the cable drum and it will motorise it back out again. And the lowering device to lower the crawler into the culvert. And then when you let go of the cable, the automatic drum will pull in the cable again until there's a small amount of tension on it. And then it will stop and we're ready for use again. Now, it may be seen that from a battery perspective that this can't have much power, but it does have a lot of power, and I'll show you. Let's lock the cable drum. That's locked the cable drum into position. Let's see how much power that crawler's got. Yeah, that's quite impressive, isn't it? Stop it there before I lose my coiler. Right, let's see how quickly we can set this up for a day's work. Got a power cell for the crawler. That slides on there, clicks into place. It can't be removed unless you remove the catch. We can then connect the cable. The cable's got the strain relief built into it, so you don't have to have the separate chains or ropes that you usually see going from there to there. No need for that at all. The Kevlar's locked in the connector. You can actually pick up the crawler with the cable. So there's no need for strain relief, right? That's the crawler battery on. Next one, I'll put the battery on for the control unit and the auto drum. There we go, that's in place. Take it out of drum lock and into auto. Switch on. And as soon as I switch on the automatic drum, the crawler comes alive. You'll center up the head. While we're waiting, we can press the record button, recording, and we're ready to go. So let's have a look at the operator's control, what they see when they it's all switched on. Let's switch the system on. Pan and tilt head initializes itself, so it faces straight forward and gets itself the right way up. That's ready. We can start a recording by pressing yes. the recorded picture which is being checked now and then back to the live picture okay so we're ready to operate so we can just press the forward button to get the crawler moving forwards and while we're moving we can use the pan and tilt camera that's 
rotate it down, have a look at the road surface. Focus in on that. There we go. And rather than being lost, you can just press the center button and the camera will center itself, get itself the right way up and ready to operate again. And while it's moving forwards on a flat surface, we can steer it. So let's steer it like that. Cable drum slows down while it's steering and then it catches back up again. Okay, so that's forward. Let's put it into reverse. Put it in reverse and then stop. And the crawler won't move, but the cable drum gets itself ready to go. Let's press reverse. Cable drum takes up slack and then starts pulling the crawler back. Get a bit of speed up. Get ready to press stop. And it'll stop immediately, no weight on it. So then press forward and stop, get the forward picture, press reverse and stop, get the reverse picture, and stop the recording. Okay, there's always the question, what happens if you're a long way out and the crawler battery fails? Or you run out of power. First of all, you get 30 minutes grace with the crawler battery. Start telling you 30 minutes before it's going to fully extinguish and it's time to bring it back in again. Okay, but let's say we ignored that completely. Let's pull it out to about 50 meters or so. That'll do. So let's pretend that the crawler is fully extinguished. Well, we can put it into drum lock, which is normally used for transportation, and then we can lift the handle up. And when you do that, it will bring the crawler back in. There we go, yep, yeah, that's most operators' nightmare if you're running battery powered systems. You lose the tractor somewhere. Uh, but we can get it back in. Let's take it out a lot, otherwise, I'll be dragging the thing along the car park again. Back into auto. Right, well, what happens in the situation when you run out of power in the boat again? Well, that's the beauty of having a cable that's so small, four millimetres of cable is that it's so easy to bring in. And when you remove power from the crawler, it goes into free wheel mode, so I can switch the whole system off. Right, system's off, the crawler's off. How do I get that back? Well, we've given you a handle for that. There we go, safely back again. Of course, both these batteries can be charged on site. Strangely enough, dragging the crawler back with the battery still connected actually charges it up, as it also charges up the power cell when you manually bring in the cable drum, but just by a small amount. Okay, so that's the operator's nightmare that you either run out of battery on the crawler or on the auto drum. Well, both of them give you fair warning of at least half an hour and you can retrieve your crawler manually just with a small handle because the whole thing is a lightweight system, but more importantly, it's a lightweight cable. And that's the most important thing about this whole system is the four millimeter cable. And that means with a battery on the crawler, that means we don't have to put power through the cable. That means we don't need large conductors and we can just get away with three signal wires and the rest of it's Kevlar, which makes it exceptionally strong, but exceptionally light as well. And it means the crawler can pull off 300 meters of cable from this and the auto drum can pull back the crawler 300 meters with very little energy usage. And that is the, the magic of this system, is that it's so efficient and so eco-friendly. And it just makes sense.